Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. In today's video, I have been inspired by Nikki Tutorials and I'm going to be doing a full face using my mum's makeup. So, mum has a very limited collection of makeup, some of which I did help her pick out a few years ago, but I feel like I'm not going to get a complete look out of all of this makeup and I'm pretty nervous as to what I'm going to look like. There's not a lot to choose from. She's missing some things that I would definitely use such as brow products and bronzers and things like that. But I'm very curious to see what I'm going to look like as my mum. So let's get into it. So I actually have a primer to start with and it is the Face of Australia Face Base Primer. I have this myself and I love it and the reason she has it is because I told her to buy it. So I'm just going to pop this on my face. Just to smooth out the skin, ready for whatever foundation I will be applying, <laughs> if any. So for foundation, Mum has a Models Prefer liquid foundation, is in the shade Classic Beige, and it's like not even like it's like <laughs> been laying there for so long. It's like half on one side of the bottle. It's just so bad. I need to give it a really good shake or something. So I'm just going to pop a few pumps. Oh, it's a bit clumpy to start with. And now it's not even like... Mother. Mother. And as for a foundation brush, the only brush she has is this paddle brush and it's even looked deformed a little bit, but... I don't usually apply my foundation with a paddle brush. I usually, if I do use a brush, because I usually use a sponge, I would use a buffing brush. So, going old school, guys. I don't know how she does this. This brush is disgusting. It leaves such streaks on the face. I can't really tell if the foundation is good enough because the brush is just not doing it justice. That and it is like way too orange for me. <laughs> and my mum is not exactly darker than me either, so... I need to get some more but it wasn't pumping out anything towards the end so I don't know how I'm going to finish my face it's like squirting out in little bits she doesn't do her makeup very often she's not a girly sort of girl so I guess it's like not really a point for her to own much but you know this isn't exactly Something I would pick for myself, but that's the point of this, to do it in my mother's face. So yeah, it's definitely a difference between the face and the neck there. This foundation is very yellow, and I am very white, so mother, you have got the wrong shade of foundation. <laughs> that or it is oxidized with age it just didn't want to come out and this brush is not making application any easier this foundation has definitely been oxidizing look at that like whew. and it's so streaky from this brush like I didn't even bring down from my room any of my own stuff because I wanted to make this legit so I can't blend it out with a sponge I can't fix it it's this is how it is <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna give up on it and move on for concealer we have the wake me up concealer in the shade ivory 
She doesn't seem to have a brush for this. So I'm going to assume I'm going to be using this thing again. And this is not very brightening either. It's very yellow again. So let's see how this blends out with this paddle brush again. <laughs> I'm basically just patting it into my skin because I can't, I'm trying to avoid streakiness, which is still not working, but how do you do this, mum? How do you do it? <laughs> And I give up. <laughs> God, I never want to touch a paddle brush ever again. Okay, so I'm going to set this mess on my face. And I'm going to use the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Powder Foundation in the shade Soft Beige, which looks way too dark, but at least she has an actual powder brush. Um, and this one is from Artiste. And it is out of brush. <laughs> this brush is shedding. <laughs> so she doesn't have any brow products. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. Um, what she does have though is a brown mascara from Nutramedics. I might, oh, it's so dry. Oh my God. This is the, oh, it's so dry that like the, the bristle has like stuck down and she is so dry. Oh. I might try and put this through my brows for something. And it has done absolutely nothing because this is so freaking dry. Mother, you need to replace your mascaras because it's so dry. I'm not putting this on my eyes. It's too, oh, look at that. It's just so dry and clumpy. Like literally nothing is coming off of that. It's just unbelievable how dry that is. So I guess we're just not going to have any brows today. As for eyeshadow, she has this ancient Nutramedics little trio with the sponge tip thing. And those are the disgustingly old from pre my birth shadows. I don't even know what to do with those. It's, it's a horribly greeny gray taupe, a cream, and then a very odd pinky color. Like, I don't even know if I want to put that on my eyes. It's so old, it could get like conjunctivitis or something. Oh God. She doesn't even have a blender brush. She does also have a single eyeshadow from L'Oreal in the shade Midnight Stars. It's basically like a glittery sort of khaki color. Get rid of this sponge thing. And I don't have a blender brush at all. How do you put your I'm going to have to use this thing. Lord help me. <laughs> yeah. 
look, it's pigmented, it's glittery, but there's no way to blend this out into the crease at all. Like, I might take the sponge end off this and because it's clean and use that to blend it out into the crease maybe. And there's a lot of fallout from this as well. Just... Oh God. This is turning out to be disastrous. Tell me, does any of you still have a mother with ancient makeup who uses the sponge tip applicators that come with things to actually apply them? Do they wear the wrong shade? Do they not have brushes? Let me know because if your mother is makeup inclined, I'm so jealous. <laughs> on the lower lash line as well. I'm grateful that she has another mascara. She probably hasn't even opened, but it is the Bourjois Beautiful Volume Mascara. It's black. I can definitely put this on my lashes. It's definitely not as dried out as that brown mascara she has, but it ain't wet either, so this will be interesting. Now I would move on to bronzer, but she doesn't have a bronzer. But she does have a blush. She has this L'Oreal Le Blush. And she has a blush brush from Artiste. So. Good enough. Again, she doesn't have a highlighter. I guess the last thing left to do is lips, and I'm again limited. So I think I'm going to go in with the Bella Box um, Chubby Stick in the red. That'll do us. So yeah, that is basically all of my mum's makeup. How do you think it turned out, guys? Not exactly something I would walk out of the house wearing, but hey, this is a 50-year-old woman we're talking about, you know? She doesn't wear makeup more than a couple times a year, so I guess this stuff will get her through it, but... Eh... It was kind of fun trying her makeup routine out. If you like this video, please like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys. Clarity earring, see?